Well, the Hawkshead Relish Company started off as a cafe in the village of Hawkshead. We made our own relishes and jams and preserves uh, to serve alongside the meals. It was going very well, but then in 2001, the foot and mouth epidemic hit and we found that our business suffered massively. So what we did was we looked at what we had and what we had was an empty kitchen. We entered the Great Taste Awards the following year and three of our products won Great Taste Awards and that was the start of the point where we realised that this was a potential proper business in its own right. And we've just increased um, as we've gone along over the last um, 17 years really. We supply round about 500 shops in the UK and we also export to between 30 and 35 countries uh, around the globe. Both my mum and my dad set up the business together um, and they've been working together for about 30 years. Um, me and my sister have both worked there since we were about 13 and then she runs the shop actually now um, and I started full time last year uh, and my uncle runs the warehouse. Whenever a decision's made um, everybody's sort of involved. Generally it, it's just pride of um, the product that we make, we're extremely proud of it. The team is is the family, we all work together, there's, there's no hierarchy as such within the business. Mark and I make the ultimate decisions but we will ask opinions and we will talk to everybody at every level. Everybody is just as important in it. The main things really, I suppose, is managing the requirements for the product that we make. And I look after all of the finance and the office side of things in the business. And from my point of view, um, a lot of my challenges are, are filling in forms and requirements, um, specification sheets, that sort of thing. There's challenges every day, but they're, they're different, different ones. We're quite separated and we're quite good at keeping it. Mm keeping it separate, we don't have many mm. fights. But it also does mean as well that there's, there's a member of the family in pretty much every sector of the business, so um, there's somebody in overall responsibility. Um, it was a little bit tricky because last week we were away on holiday and four of us went on holiday, and so that, that meant there was, <laughs> there was a big gap, um, but uh, that doesn't happen very often, does it? We all get to see each other every day, which is nice because a lot of families don't get to see each other every day and um, because we all work in the same sort of area we all live locally so that's nice we're not too far away from each other are we I think it's also that our goals are yeah. the same we all have that same passion and drive for the business and we're all very proud of the products that we make and you know we've all got our favorites and we can talk about them and sell them but it, but we're all working to the same aim um, and so um, that really helps to, to drive the business as well and um, keep us actively um, pushing it forward all the time. So I think that's a big part of it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We have to be looking at innovating now for what we think is going to be the, the next big thing that's a foodie thing in springtime next year. Um, because we need time to develop it, obviously. And it's just trying to think of new ideas, really, and looking at new um, products that come into the marketplace. It's trying to see what we think is going to be the next big thing. If you know our products and you know that you've seen them, you'll know that we don't generally do a straight strawberry jam or a straight raspberry jam. It's the development of the flavours and, and matching uh, maybe spices or herbs or something that makes that twist on, on a recipe that makes it a very Hawkshead relish recipe rather than a standard um, straightforward product. No, absolutely not. And, and they've grown up with it um, and there was lots of eye rolling when we came home and talked about business at night. As Izzy started working for us about a year ago now and um, in the Easter beforehand, she came and helped out in the office. And that was her downfall, really, because she proved that she was really good. I feel very strongly that um, they don't have a right to the job and they don't have a right to be in the business. That the, 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 the right belongs to the correct person to be in that position. And um, she just fell into it and, and has done really well. But if she wasn't, good at what she did, she wouldn't have got the job. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> because we started off the way we did, um, where we didn't envisage the relishes to be a business in its own right, it was just a, a sideline to the cafe. We sort of got here by accident. What we are doing is looking to expand and, and, and get more nationally known, if you like, so it's brand building. I'd love to see it on, a, a sort of, if you're watching a film or something, and see a jar in the corner <laughs> mm. um, or something like that, just to see it. We, occasionally we do spot it, don't we? And, um, that, what was it, the A? The A word. The A word. Um, we spotted it in the background oh, and yeah. freeze <laughs> <off> window. <laughs> yeah. Kept going back and watching it again um, and things. So, so I think it's just making it more of a nationally known brand um, would be my aspiration for it and for people to, to really um, understand why we're so passionate about it.